hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to install proxmox on either a laptop desktop or a server now proxmox is a virtualization tool that will allow you to run virtual machines first we have to download proxmox iso file so let's open our browser and then search for proxmox now click on the first link over here which is to proxmox.com and then click on the download button right here now you can see the latest release of Proxmox. We are going to download Proxmox ISO installer. So click on download. This file is about 1 GB, so it should take a while to download. I already have it downloaded, so I'm just going to cancel it. After downloading Proxmox, we also have to download Rufus, which we are going to use to create a bootable drive. So let's open a new tab and then head to Rufus.ie. Now scroll down and then click on the latest release of Rufus to download. Now we can close our browser and here we go this is Rufus and this is Proxmox. Now let's run Rufus. Now we have to connect a flash drive at least 4 GB should be okay. In this case I have a 16 GB pen drive which I'm gonna connect and it should be selected on that device right here. You can see my flash drive. Now we have to select the bootable ISO which is our Proxmox so we are going to click on select right here and then locate our download folder Proxmox selected open ok and we can start creating a boot drive by clicking on start ok and it should start now while this is running we have to confirm where we want to install Proxmox so let's head to our search bar and then search for partitions and then click on create and format hard disk partitions so right here you see the list of all the drives in your system and in my case you can see disk 0 which is where i'm currently running windows from disk 1 contains manjaro and windows 10 disk 2 right here is where we want to be installing proxmox you should know that you can't install Proxmox on a partition, like we could just partition this drive and then install Proxmox. It works with other operating systems but this doesn't work the same way with Proxmox. It has to use the entire drive so if you have any important data in that drive where you want to install Proxmox, then make sure to back up. But if it is a fresh drive then you have no problem. You can just select the drive while running the installation and it should wipe it automatically and install Proxmox. So in my case, I'm going to be using disk 2 right here to install Proxmox. So let's close this. Now we can click on close. Restart our PC and start the installation. While it is restarting, hold F9 or F12 to open your BIOS setup. This may be different depending on the PC you're using. Now go to BIOS setup. Now we have to locate virtualization and make sure it is turned on. In my case, it is under virtualization support. So I'm going to select virtualization and make sure and make sure it is enabled. Now we can close the page. Now let's select our USB flash drive. To boot from the flash drive hit enter and we can hit enter to start the installation okay first we have to agree to the terms so let's agree next we select the drive where we want to install proxmox now in this case i have three drives on my pc you can see the first one hard disk second hard disk and the third hard disk where we want to install Proxmox. So select it and then click on next. Set your country, your time zone and your keyboard layout and then next. Enter a password. And then next. Now you can say whatever domain as your host name. In my case, I'm just going to change it a little. You could also use a domain name if you own one. For the IP address and the gateway, it is going to be filled automatically. 
now we can click on install after confirming the details here are correct exactly the way we want it so let's continue the installation should take about 10 minutes and we should be good okay so the installation is done and then our pc restarted so we can log in with the default username is root and then you enter your password to log in now we can access proxmos from any computer on the same network so I switch to my MacBook and we can access our Proxmos server from here. Let's click on advanced and then proceed. Now log in with your username which is root and then the password you used login and you can see proxmox has been successfully installed now we can navigate through upload an iso and we can also create a new virtual machine by clicking on create vm it is as easy as that you can check out other videos i made on installing windows or other operating systems on proxmox but basically, this is all for installing Proxmox. If this was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. If you encountered any issue, don't forget to use the comment section and we'll be glad to help you. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.